All right, everyone. It's breakfast time. Uh, cooking for some more people other than myself today. So uh, we're gonna do some scrambled eggs with onions, peppers. We're gonna have French toast, but it's gonna be made with uh, Hawaiian sweet rolls. We're gonna have some maple sausage. Uh, it's gonna be good, man. First thing we gotta do is uh, we're gonna chop up some onion here. So let's go ahead and get that chopped up. All right, we got our onion chopped up. I'm not gonna put too much in the scrambled eggs. Now these peppers and onions are going to go in our scrambled eggs along with those Rotel diced tomatoes. Uh, you can use fresh tomatoes and cut them up. Um, I used Rotel, it's just easier, saves time. And Rotel is not bad at all. You know, I'm not a big fan of tomatoes, but Rotel is nice. Very awesome. And there we have Kitty Cat. She's going to help us out today. And I've already got our pan going here. We're going to cook all the vegetables in this pan before we do anything else. Of course, we've got to add some butter to it. Now, when cooking these vegetables, I'm kind of generous with the butter, so yeah. <laughs> if you don't like butter, close your eyes. And I'm trying this out on a new camera, so uh, it's the same one I used for the garage, so it's probably going to be fading from black and white to yeah. Now, the heat from the oven is not purple. Uh, like it's showing in the camera here, I don't know why. So I might go back to recording with the phone. But anyway, we're just going to melt this butter here before we put our vegetables in. Before we put our onions, peppers, and tomatoes in. Tomatoes are fruit, excuse me for all you purists out there. Alright, our butter is melting nicely. We're going to help it along here. I do believe I'm not. I'm going to stop recording videos with this new camera. Uh, I'll just... I think it's because there's not a whole lot of light in here. There's not a whole lot of light. It kind of acts funny. Alright. Butter's melted. Let's add our tomatoes in, like so. And get the rest of them out. Don't want to waste any. Alright. And we're just going to add in our peppers and our onions. And we're going to let all these cook. Alright, we've got everything in here, peppers, onions, diced tomatoes, and we're just going to let these cook. Um, it's better to cook them before you mix them in with the eggs because they won't cook as well at the same time as the eggs are cooking. So I always like to cook the vegetables separately. So I'm turning them a, uh, a few times here. Get it mixed up and let it cook. Well, this is my Sunday tradition now, man. I always make eggs and lately french toast and sausage but yeah we'll just let that cook for a little while now while those are cooking we're going to go ahead and we're going to beat these eggs here for our french toast hawaiian sweet rolls i usually do six eggs because that'll do about eleven rolls but what i do is i tear the rolls in half so you're looking at about twenty two pieces so that's always great <laughs> alright we're going to go ahead and whisk these eggs won't take too long. Probably have to put the camera, yeah, I'm going to have to put the camera down and do this. <laughs> oh well. Alright, we got our eggs whisks, uh, whisked, excuse me. Now what we're going to do is we're going to tear these uh, sweet rolls in half. So you get about two pieces every roll. Alright, ripped a couple in half here. And basically we're just going to do what we do when we make French toast, dip them in the egg. Yeah, our vegetables are still cooking nicely. I know, I know, tomatoes not a vegetable, it's a fruit. Forgive me. Yeah, they're cooking really well here. Oh, I'll let them cook just a little bit longer, then they'll be done. They smell great too. So this is gonna taste real good mixed in with the scrambled eggs and cheese. I think that's gonna do it. I'm gonna set these to the side. Yeah, this is what I call the junk drawer. We've got all kinds of crap in here. I'm actually looking for some tongs. <laughs> I'm weird, man. I don't like to put my hand in in the egg, so I flip over the <laughs> I flip the rolls over with the tong. I know. I know, I know. It'll be alright though. Basically all we're gonna do is cover both sides of the egg and drop it in a hot pan. So we'll have to put a pan on the burner, get it warmed up, and we can start making our 
French sweet Hawaiian rolls. Alright, we've got a pan here. It's been warming up for a little while. And we're going to start these uh, sweet Hawaiian rolls. These are French, I guess you can call them French rolls. I don't know. French Hawaiian rolls? I don't know. <laughs> so we're going to make them just like we do French toast. Now, me, when I do French toast, I like the egg to be just a little bit, um, not fully cooked all the way, just a little bit runny. Uh, it's my own personal preference, so that's what I'm going to try to do here. So we'll just flip these over, cover both sides in that egg. Well, if I can get it over, maybe. There we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, if it won't flip over, just drown it. And just put it in the pan. Yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm not going to use this camera to do videos anymore if there's not a whole lot of light. So. Yeah, I'm not looking. I'm not liking how this is looking. It's one of those 4K wide lens cameras, but yeah, guess you need a whole lot of light for it to come out right. But anyway, and we're just going to repeat this process until we run out of egg. Like I said, usually it makes anywhere from 11 to 12 rolls. If you rip in half, you're looking at about 22 to 24 pieces. Plenty for three people. All right, we've got them going here. Uh, not too bad, not too bad. Should have flipped them over just a little bit sooner, make the egg a little more runny. But there we go. And these are awesome, man. Um, if you like French toast, you should definitely try these Hawaiian sweet rolls. The original flavored Hawaiian sweet rolls. These are, man, they're good. I don't even use to uh, bread anymore, French toast. I always use these rolls now. Alright, so we finished our, uh, yeah, screw it. We'll just say French Hawaiian rolls. <laughs> I let some of them cook a little bit longer because, like I said, I'm not cooking for just me. And I've started our maple sausage. Now, if you've never had maple sausage, please try it, man. I'm not a big sausage fan, but maple sausage is awesome. Alright, we still got our sausage cooking, and if you notice on the right side, we have uh, shredded hash browns. Somebody decided they wanted those, so they're cooking those. And if you look at the top left of the screen here, we've got Tiger. Now, Tiger loves to eat. He doesn't care what it is. Human food, cat food, it doesn't matter. That little boy will eat. I love him. <laughs> but yeah, someone decided they wanted shredded hash browns too, so they're doing that. I'm not, I don't have anything to do with that. All right, got our eggs whisked up for uh, our scrambled eggs. Um, I use a lot when I'm cooking for the family. I use a dozen eggs, 12 eggs. Got those whisked um, sausage. We're gonna flip it over now. Those vegetables smell good too, and you can actually smell the maple in the sausage. I mean, this is gonna be some good eating this morning, folks. We'll just go ahead and flip these over here. Now one of these nights, since I finished the garage project, one of these nights I'm just going to set up a table, man. I'm going to go out there, watch some horror movies, have some food and drinks. It'll be awesome. But we're going to have to flip these sausages over now. Let them cook for a little bit longer on that side. See, I love to use these tongs, man. <laughs> And there we go. We'll just let those cook for a little bit longer. Shouldn't be too long now. All right, our maple sausage is done. It looks it looks burnt, but trust me, it's not. It may look that way, but it's not. <laughs> All right, our sausage is done. We got that on a plate. So we'll just set this to the side with the one. Oh God, I can't remember what I call them. The, the French Hawaiian rolls and when these hash browns are done we'll start our scrambled eggs alright see as I said we have our eggs all whisked up ready to go hash browns were done 
Got another pan. I've been letting it heat up for a while. Yes, sir. Look at that. That butter's going to melt quick. I'm always generous when I cook a whole lot of eggs. Oh, generous with the butter, I mean. We just want to coat the whole pan with that melted butter. And it shouldn't take too long since the pan's so hot. We're just going to help the pro speed the process along a little bit. This has become my Sunday morning tradition. I always cook a big breakfast and enjoy it because I have to go back to work Sunday nights. That always sucks. <laughs> Alright. That's good enough, man. Now we're just going to pour our eggs in here. And those are going to start cooking right away. That's good. It means it won't take too long. Alright, we've added our tomatoes, our onions, and our peppers into here. We're going to add some sharp cheddar cheese. We're gonna, oh yeah, we're putting more than that in. Oh yeah. I like a lot of cheese in my scrambled eggs. I like, uh, I can use American cheese, but I always enjoy sharp cheddar cheese better. Sharp cheddar cheese is just, tastes better to me in scrambled eggs. And the sharp cheddar I can eat by itself, man. I'm not going to lie to you. Hey, we're just going to cook these, man. Uh, we're going to keep an eye on it. No. Rake it back and forth with the spatula a little bit. Just keep raking at it, mixing it up. You see the eggs are starting to cook already. That's awesome. And we'll just keep doing this until those eggs are completely cooked and scrambled eggs will be done. It'll be time to eat. Alright, the scrambled eggs are done, man. They smell good, they look good, and I guarantee you they're going to taste good. So we got scrambled eggs with cheese, peppers, onions, diced tomatoes, maple sausage links, French Hawaiian rolls. Yeah, I'm not going to name any names, but they kind of burnt the hash browns there really bad. <laughs> but that's it, man. That is a Sunday morning breakfast with beefcake. It's time to eat. Hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, hope it made you hungry. And I'll see you next time. Thanks, everyone.